Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of cancer, for love and relationship, for the month of September Cancer. Either you left family lately or you are leaving really a good person. No, I'm sorry. Um, I pulled that back. Someone who did you wrong. You're leaving current relationship. You want really to be free. But in the same time, it says here that you are connecting yourself with another person that you want to change your life into the better with another person the other person he or she wants you and they will want really to be with you but they didn't really want they don't want to establish family at this current time to stay in it like okay you could be connecting or trying to connect with an earth sign person which is we know the earth sign is it could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You want to connect with those people. You could be leaving really a Taurus or a Virgo or someone else. So that's why I don't mention the signs sometimes because it can be really pretty confusing for others. So if you are really, there is a current relationship and that person you have been really with for a long time, you establish family, a home, everything, money together, everything. But you want to be free from that person. You are walking away. Because it seems to be they did you wrong and you don't no longer want to be with them. It's not like, you know, that you chose this and you are like you couldn't wait. Something happened. And you have really wanting to walk away from them. Even though that you wish that this person stayed with you forever. But... They are the one who is responsible for changing things for you. And you feel, okay, I'm walking away. That's it. I'm done. You worry about a new love. There is a new love for you. And you are worried about it. Is this going to go very well for me or not? Which is there is currently this person is around you. That's the new person. They want to keep coming. This person wants you. They establish family with you. They see you all the time. They talk to you all the time. But lately, they have been really feeling that, you know, there are, their life is not really all together. They want really to get their, excuse me, let's say it this way. They want to get their life together. Some people say they want to get their shit together. Okay. Either way, this person will be coming to you, but they want really like to establish really something more meaningful to you. They want to work. They want money. They want really job, they want really a good job. They could be lost their job recently and they are trying to find better job for themselves. This person is really very attracted to you and into you. Want to connect with you on a highest level. Not like the other person that you are leaving, they found another person and they fooled around with another person and you, they still lie to you and say, no, I didn't, but you are kind of like, well, I know I see it. Okay, but in the same time, you are in a struggle right now with this new love because you are kind of like, I don't know where am I headed? 
what should I do? Shall I center myself and really work it out with the other person? Or shall I just really keep on pushing this current person relationship, which is the one you were before, before in the past, and really like to push more further with the new person? Because it says here that you want to find your freedom, your happiness with someone who cares for you. You found someone already, but you kind of like you know, struggling in adjusting this person in your life or to make him or her or to get their attention to you, let's put it that way is better, to take care of you, to be there for you all the time. But so far it hasn't been happening. You forgive very easily, which is a good thing. Your heart is really big and huge. But you feel sometimes like, no, what am I doing? Am I really like you're connecting with the wrong person all the time? Or shall I choose a different brand new relationship? But you are worried. Who am I going to end up with? What is my future? Am I being loved with the same way? Or it's unretained love that disappoints me all the time? Am I going to re be repeating the same pattern? Or am I walking away from a relationship into a worse one? Or is it a better one? You are kind of like, let's leave it to God. You are hopeful. You have faith and you are really confining in this person, the new person, like no really to take your hand and say, let's go. We are together. But there is still kind of like an obstacle. The obstacle mostly is from the this <coughs> current relationship that they did you wrong. You want to walk away from them, but yet they are not really leaving you for you to attain your goal and be free. They claim that you are wrong and it's not really happening or whatever they did, it didn't happen. Even though that you know, even if you have proof of a video, they still deny it for you. For some reason, they are not really confessing. You keep really pushing this person away, the current relationship, but this current relationship is not really going away. That person could be a Virgo. That's a Virgo card. Not necessarily a Virgo, you know, it's an earth sign person. Even though that you are connecting with the new relationship with an earth sign person, that doesn't make any sense. But some of you have a water sign also in their chart. Like you could be really connecting with the water sign person. Like Pisces, okay? It could be like a Scorpio. It could be like you know, someone who is really like um, a cancer. Um, um, but not necessarily like, you know, that... Is going to be an earth sign only. You have love around you. You are attractive enough like to attract anybody to you at this current time. But you want to have your freedom from the current relationship and that person is really giving you a hard time. That why, that's why there is entanglement, a struggle. Or it could be someone is sabotaging your new love by not walking away from you as you keep pushing them away. That's what's going on exactly. The other person, like, no, they are really worried. The current relationship, the one, they are not walking away no matter what. They are worried about their finances, their living, their money situation, because it sounds like they can really get the money. They can really be really doing something, but they could be involved with other people that they have somebody else in their life already. So it sounds like you know, they don't know what to do. They kind of like you know, holding on you because this is their living. This is their home. This is the person that took care of them, which is you. And you are like... Get the heck out. And they're like, no. Anyway. They are worried about you also getting another person. That's why they don't want to walk away easily from you. They don't want you to be with someone else. They feel like, you know, okay, give me some break, some time, like, you know, to walk away, to move uh, to another place, uh, um, which is they already like you know, maybe planning the living maybe they find something or they gonna find something a place to move to but you are rushing that person to walk away and pushing them further for a while 
and now it seems to be that they are going to be finding that place to move to. You feel like you know that you have been really betrayed and cheated on, and that's why you want to stop on that person and really like you know, be connected with another person that you love or like already. A lot of you, that's a different totally story that you do have a problem or an issue with the spouse that you feel like you no know, on edge with that person they want to walk away from you sometimes and sometimes they are not but it seems to be the spouse doesn't want to walk away from you and they want really to work it out with you that's different let's continue on the first one the first one it seems to be here that this person is really willing to do an effort and be with you but they are doubting but they feel that you are doubting them they feel that you are they are doubting that it's going to work between you two eventually anyway the problem here that sometimes it's like you know what you get from this person other person but you still love them and you hold on them in many ways, you are hurting enough from that person that you are not really forgetting easily because you love them deeply. What you are looking for at this time, like, you know, your rice, because you don't li like to be cheated on or fooled by this person or any, any person because you tried so hard, so hard, and they hurt you, and they kept hurting you. At the end, I get here that you are finding your way and you are going to be really paying attention to the new relationship, even though that you know that it's not really getting you really much anywhere yet, very fast, very quick. But at the end, you might really just push that other person away, the current relationship. See, your reading is mixing up because your emotions are all over the place. Is mixing up between the current relationship and the new relationship. You see what I mean? And it's making you like an active mind. You know, you keep thinking left or right, left or right. Like, you know, about current and the other one. The current and the other one. That's why it keeps popping. This current relationship, you could be really having a child with. Uh, no, not the current one. I'm sorry. The one like you know, that you have already for a long time. You could be really having a child from. But you feel like you know, sometimes maybe I should just walk away because I learned my lesson. It's not going to work. And every time I stay, it's going to hurt me more and more and more and more. So you feel like you know, the disconnect from the other person and you feel like you know, this is it. I'm going to walk away. Even though the current relationship that you chose, the one you love already, the new love, you feel like you know, that is kind of like not really working all the way 100% yet because of the interference of the current, uh, current person. And it's not just the interference. It's the current person that you have, that the new love. He or she could be not ready 100% to give you exactly what you want. You feel like, no, it's okay. I'm going to go on with it. Even if it doesn't get anywhere right now, at least it will take me away from the pain that I faced with the past relationship. So you are a free person, a free bird. Nobody can really control you. You just want to stay away from the stress. It could be clattery, little bit stress, a lot of changes, but it looks to me that it's going to be really pretty good. No matter what, you know what to do, and you have some kind of setbacks here and there um, you feel like you know that you have been betrayed people played games on you but it's gonna pass all of it you're gonna find yourself happy um, all of this clutter is gonna go away even financially is gonna get better for you after like you know a strife of a long time like you know, financially have been really up and down but you're gonna be really fine a lot of changes facing you but you can manage to do it best of luck for you dear cancer I hope you enjoyed your reading and if you need a private reading please contact me 
and the link for my website is below this video mysticalaziza.com after you click on reading prices please purchase your reading give me a call and the phone number is listed on my website and thank you so much for watching bye bye